Victoria. Uh, more on that. Uh, Patricia, so a very big job given the damage to the reputation of the MPA. Did she seem to you to be very confident she can handle this? Well, certainly a heavy task, perhaps a mammoth a task that uh, she is uh, taking on. But Frances, we have to remember that uh, she is uh, no newcomer, she is no stranger uh, to uh, the institution. And I think really uh, perhaps her experience of uh, uh, both uh, within uh, the various uh, structures of uh, the NPA on national level, provincial level, and the fact that she has really worked her way from ground up and and her international experience seems uh, that that makes her very, um, you know, uh, self-certain, very confident that she is geared uh, and ready for the mammoth uh, task ahead. And uh, she seems like she is also very much uh, in the know about uh, the issues uh, that have over the years really compromised and uh, crippled and eroded the integrity and credibility of uh, the NPA. And one of the things that she said today was that she has no illusions in terms of how um, deep the problems within the uh, NPA um, are. And she's made it very clear that uh, she is actually, you know, uh, calling upon her colleagues, uh, prosecutors in particular, um, to, you know, change their attitudes and really take up a character of uh, putting the rule of law and uh, the constitution first so that they can serve the people of South Africa. Africa without fear or favor. There's a lot of debate about what should be on her agenda first. Uh, tell us more about any hints of what cases she will pursue with vigor uh, as soon as she gets going. Uh, well, in terms of really giving us clarity on um, which direction that will go and which cases she would like to, uh, to prioritize, she really didn't want to go into detail, but she was very clear um, that there are a string of cases that she already has laid her eye on and that she is already pursuing. She has already discussed with um, the uh, Minister of Justice, Advocate Michael Masuta. And uh, I think as well, if really one take into consideration how she really uh, put a lot of emphasis into what has happened in uh, the country's various um, state institutions, in particular referring to um, some of the testimonies that have come out of the Zondo Commission and of course uh, um, the inquiry that is now looking into um, you know, the two uh, deputy uh, prosecutors rather or um, uh, those uh, 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 two uh, you know, uh, prosecutors in the NPA and that is uh, uh, Jiba and, of course, uh, Mukhebi. Those allegations where um, it is alleged that they have, uh, you know, acted unlawfully, they have allegedly taken bribes, um, she really uh, put emphasis on that, that those are some of, uh, you know, the elements that she really needs to uh, prioritize. And uh, saying that uh, she's already discussed these uh, with the Minister of Justice um, and saying that they have already uh, looked into the possibility of um, coming up with a specialized unit um, that will work very closely with the various um, criminal justice um, structures, in particular uh, the NPA as the body, of course, uh, the Hawks and so forth, and they can see how they can delve further into um, really exposing and understanding what happened. Uh, but most importantly, as she said, justice must win uh, taking action um, against everyone who finds um, themselves implicated or who are involved in uh, some of the allegations of in particular uh, a state capture uh, you heard her there saying that uh, some of uh, some of the information that has come out is very disturbing and it has really um, eroded the image of the country and it has compromised um, a lot of institutions and saying that uh, some of the things that has happened has robbed in particular um, the poor of some of the rights they have corruption in particular she said um, and, and she really went to a great extent to explain to the media that uh, corruption is fueled by greed um, and so forth
All right, thank you very much, Patricia Vasahi. And uh, just to let you know, Michael Masuta, the minister, was also there uh, saying that given what has come out at the State Capture Commission, Correctional Services will be looking at its current contracts with that very controversial company, Busasa.